Alright, to start off this video, I'm going to start by saying this video is going to be kind of like backwards. It's going to start where it ends because I never filmed an outro for some reason. Or an intro for... I never filmed an intro. So, I did go fishing today. I went to the ponds. Caught a little, little bass on a custom swim jig that my buddy made. So, we're going to get to that right about... There we go. Saw a bunch of carp out there in the middle. I casted to him, and this guy must have been hanging out with him because he bit it. Awesome. My buddy's homemade jig, too. First fish ever caught on it. Sweet. Little guy, but it's a start. Oh, Lord, it feels so good. There he goes. There was that fishing nothing big but it was still a good time and uh just to make this video give it a little something more so it's not totally like short and boring i'm gonna do a little like how to of my favorite knots for fishing let's get into that all right here i got the jig i was using today and i gotta say my favorite knot to use that's probably the, the strongest knot i know is the Palomar knot. And I really like that knot, especially for braid, because if you tie a, a clinch knot in braid, the knot tends to slip. And right when a fish bites or you set the hook on a fish, your knot slips and fish is gone. So I'm gonna teach you guys real quick how to tie a Palomar knot. Okay, this is probably gonna be hard to see, but I'll do it in a minute with my like 50 pound braid, so it'll be a little easier to see. So the basics of it, got your line, you got your guide, you put it in once, and you thread it back through the eye, like so. And so you kind of have a loop on this end, and two, the main line of your tag end on this end. And you want to give yourself some room to work with here, and kind of take the loop, and you tie an overhand knot, just like you're tying your shoes, around the tag line and the main line, with that loop, you just tie that overhand knot. And now with that loop, you wanna put your bait through the loop, like so. And then just grab the, the main line there and cinch it, pull it tight. And the tighter you pull on this knot, like even if you get stuck on a log or something, and the harder you pull, the harder it cinches it down so it gets like it gets even stronger the harder you pull on it and it, it it really doesn't slip since you put it the bait through that loop it's never going to slip out so i'm going to do that now with some braid so it's a little easier to see i got some 50 pound suffix i don't know how easy that is to see but we'll see got my swim jig again take that put the line through the eye once this way pull it out Take the line and put it back through the eye again, like so. Got your loop in one hand, your main line and tag line in the other hand. Take the loop, tie an overhand knot, just like you're tying your shoes. Take that loop again, pass your bait through the loop, and then just pull on that main line and cinch it down. Once again, the harder you pull, the stronger the knot gets. And there you go. And that's not going to slip. It's not going to break. You're good to go. 
So there's my favorite knot to tie in bass fishing. And once you get it down, you can get it, you can tie it pretty quick. And it's pretty easy to learn, pretty easy to remember. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you learned something. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow.